when it comes to watercolour, I am not an expert, not by any means, but I love it. I just love watching it move in the water and on the card. And um, yeah, so I'm showing you a cheats way of doing it. I've been doing a bit of watercolouring recently and I've been learning from Linda Brown called Yours Artfully on Instagram. She's so fabulous. Um, and this bit, I needed to show you this because I've done this the other night and I am so proud of that. Um, it was a bit of a fluke how it came out, but... <laughs> It worked. Anyway, on to this one. So I'm going to be using the Sizzix dies. These are code number 664431 and they're called cut out leaves. Um, absolutely love these dies. There's You get eight in there and they're actually going to leave the aperture of the leaf in there. I'm then using a bit of um, watercolour card from C. White of Brighton. It's a really lovely, I think it was 350 GSM. Um, it's lovely. Uh, I've done that, that, well, actually it all worked out perfect because I took my wow card stock, cut it in half like I always do, make a tenfold card. Then I've got my panel on the front and the postcard fitted perfectly, probably because it's all A6. Um, but yeah, so it all fitted lovely and, and that's just sort of like layering it up basically. Um, I'm going to set aside the leaves and the cardstock at the moment because I'm going to go into the watercolour bit because then that's going to help me... Um, let it dry a little bit more naturally before I move on. Um, I got recommended these by Julie Hickey and by Linda Brown. And I have to say, even though <laughs> I'm not an expert, I do know quality when I see it. And they are beautiful brushes. And do you know what? I said to Julie Hickey a little while ago, I wonder if it makes a difference to... Um, how you do things, how things come out when you use good quality stuff and, and I've got to say, I mean, yeah, they're bamboo, they're stunning so I'm doing my little bit for the planet as well so I've gone ahead and I've just sort of like smushed some water on that cardstock oh, the bit you can't see that I'm moving my hand through is I swatch my little palettes so I can see what the colours are going to be. And there I was just counting along so I can get to that pink colour. Because when they're actually in their little pans, you really can't tell the true colour of them. So it's always a good idea to swatch them. So this is my cheats way. I am just flicking, literally just flick, flick, flick um, and you can see I mean I, I could just sit and watch that all day I just love the way it moves in the water it sort of fans out it, it just looks beautiful so I'd roughly decided I wanted to use sort of pinks and greens um, and I've probably thrown a bit of teal somewhere um, <laughs> and I'm just mixing up um, the green with the water this as I say the more water that you use the lighter each time your paint's going to go so from one little pan of watercolor you can get so many variations of color out of it literally from the palest of pale right up to the the darkest that it will go and it's just lovely so I'm just making sure I'm covering the majority of it um, I love those those two colours together. And um, oh there, look, you can see my palette now. So I just count along so I know which one I'm using. Um maybe as I if I get better at it, I'll start realising what's what. At the moment, I'm just yeah, I'm learning so much. <laughs> so if anyone else has got a, a good idea how to do that. But I do think it's important to swatch them because they do look totally, totally different um, when they're in their pans. So just adding a bit of blue. Some might call it teal. Um, one thing to know is these will dry. Am I getting this right? They dry lighter. So you're putting it on and you're thinking like, oh, OK, that, that's OK. But then just bear in mind that they are going to dry lighter. OK. So I, I love this pink, absolutely adore this pink. So I'm picking more of that up 
and I'm going to splat again. And I keep two um, jugs of water by me. And this was a tip from Linda Brown. And one is to clean my brush out. And the other one is for my clean water when I need more water to add. So that was a good tip from her. Um, I, I did mention what her Instagram was. Um, yours artfully. And oh, she is amazing she's just started coming back into it we pestered her basically we all went up to her house and Julie Hickey Paola Pascal and myself and um, we saw her work and it was just amazing and we were like oh seriously you you need to be getting yourself back out there and teaching everyone because <laughs> she's so good <laughs> don't think she appreciated that <laughs> But she has started like putting stuff on her Instagram account again, and it's, it's worth a look. It really is. Her stuff is amazing. Um, also, I've been learning from a lady called Creations CC, um, who's just fantastic. Okay, back to this. So I've just gone ahead. I've laid out my leaf dies. I should have been sensible and used a bit of wax paper in between. One thing, the reason I kept this bit in was because I wanted you to see how slow I was going because I didn't tape them down, which was really stupid of me. Um, I would recommend if you've got these or anything like it, you tape them down because they can just move all over the place if you go too quick. Anyway, I've gone ahead and poked them all out. It would have been a lot quicker if I'd had my wax paper with me. Um, and now I'm just having a little look and seeing what it's going to look like through there. And, and I really like that. I really, really like that. But then I started thinking to myself, oh, do you know what? A little bit of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle wouldn't go amiss, would it? Okay, so even as a beginner, one thing I do know is to look after your brushes so make sure your brush um, is dry, especially the ferrule part, that's the metal part. Um, you don't want to leave that sitting in water anywhere, that's just going to ruin them. So yeah, be careful with those. Um, I've gone ahead and trimmed down the watercolour card bit, just so it's slightly smaller than my front panel card. And now I'm going to stick it down. So I'm just using double-sided tape. I'm going to stick it, normally I'd stick it on the actual watercolour card, but because this has got um, die cuts in there, I'm going ahead and sticking it on the actual panel so I can see exactly where it is. Then, I, So I went with the sparkle. I decided, yep, let's have a little bit of sparkle. So I've gone with the Wow Metallic Silver Sparkle, just to add a little bit, not a lot. Um, if you can't get your fingers in the pot, just tip some out in the lid and then just start sprinkling it on. And I'm going to speed this up because I literally just sprinkle it on, heat from underneath, and then I have another little look at it and I think, hmm, didn't really put lots on there. Oh, this is why you should never take your tape off until you're ready to use it. Um, but then this is the great thing about this. You can just add more. I'd rather have less and add more than have too much in the first place. Now I'm using my favourite little brush um, to clean up. I just, I love this little Nouveau brush. Um, and now I can actually go ahead and stick that down. And first of all, I was going to stick that on top, like the card panel on top. And then I thought, no, actually, that's a bit stupid. I'm better off because I can see there's a little tiny boulder all the way around it. So I can just stick it all the way down. Now, one thing to know watercolour paper holds the water for a while so you can see that's a little bit um what's the word bent bulbous a little bit um so normally I would actually take a book and sit a couple of books on it just to hold it down but for the sake of the video I'm not going to do that um I'm still happy with what it looks like um okay so I don't know about you guys but I keep all my little strips of cardstock. I'm an absolute nightmare. Um, but it's for reasons like this. I love this little A7 sentiment stamp set um, from WOW. 
and it's a beautiful little sentiment and it's a really really fine small font so I thought right let's see if I can get it on that little tiny strip and the other thing I love is my Sizzix mat that I'm working on because as you could see there I was able to line up the stamp to make sure it was on dead straight which does make a difference especially when you're working on something really small like this so I just take that pop that down I hold it on there just for just a, a second or so just to let the ink soak into the card and then lift it off and that just worked out so perfect and I just love how small and, and thin that is. It's just lovely. Okay, so Versamark is an oil-based ink. So it can stay wet for a wee while. So I'm giving it a, a little blast with my heat tool just to dry it off. Because I don't want to, at this stage, smudge it. Because I need to stick my little foam pads on, etc. So I'm just going to trim it off. So it's the same on the other side, should be about even. And then I'll just set that aside so it's still got a bit of time to dry a little bit more naturally as well. And then just do the same thing, just add in double sided tape, ready to stick it to my card front. So I won't bore you with all of that. So make sure your card's up the right way. And then I'm just eyeballing it. I know that that panel is the same size as the card front as well. So I'm just going to hover that over. When I'm happy with where it is, just stick it down. And then I'm going to put little foam pads on my sentiment. Because I want to raise it up just a little bit. And I love these foam pads because they're bigger. But you can always like just snip them down to tiny little strips rather than buying little thin strip ones it's just easier and then I'm just going to place that in the centre just pop it on there and then when I know I'm happy with it then just push it down so it's stuck and that's it and that's your cheats way of doing a bit of watercolouring just splat 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 um, thanks ever so much for watching Happy watercolouring. Take care. Bye.